Hello YouTubers, KJ and welcome to another video. For this video, I just wanted to sit down and do some art with you guys, and I hope that that's okay. I am an animation major going into my final semester, so and then I'm working on some stuff for my senior film, just getting some artwork together that I need to have before school starts and I have to start animating. So I hope you guys will enjoy sitting down and uh, talking with me and watching me create this art piece. Uh, I hope it's a fun experience for you all to just see my process, and I hope you'll let me have this little conversation with you guys. So I will meet back with you here when I'm done drawing. Hello, you guys. So, um, first of all, this is recorded in Procreate. I use my iPad mini and an Apple Pencil. The thing about Procreate screen recording that I am just now realizing is that it does not zoom in or out at all. So you are going to see the whole screen the whole time, but please know that I'm zooming into little places, getting tiny details, doing stuff like that. So let me know if you guys prefer this recording method or if, if I ever do one of these art videos again. You would rather I do a screen recording so that you'll be able to see where I'm zooming in and where I'm not, because it's, it's a little strange that it doesn't zoom in, I will admit that. Um, I actually just recorded the audio for this session, but I decided to come in and record it again because I didn't think it was all that interesting. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind just sitting down and having a chill little chat with me about the future of my artwork, not only on this channel, but just in general. So when I first started this YouTube channel, I felt kind of like I was required to make it an art channel because I'm a person who does art. But I, I, I knew very straight away that I didn't want to have an art channel. Um, doing art in class settings and studio settings um, is very different than doing art. art uh, okay, <laughs> doing art in class studios and galleries is a different category than doing art for like um, commissions, selling at home, Etsy shops, like online stuff like that, and YouTube. I find in, in the latter category, your art has to cater to its audience a lot more, whereas in the first category, you can create art that you like and you mostly hope that other people like it as well. So I didn't really want to put myself in that position with my art on YouTube because I felt like making art that I liked, not just, you know, YouTube style art, if you will. So this channel from the start has not been an art channel and I knew it wouldn't be that way, but I wanted to have a vlogging lifestyle channel and in order to vlog my life I have to show you the things that I do and art is a lot of what I do as an animation major. I used to be just um, an art major in general, and now I do animation, and it's it's required a lot of art to hit this channel. So what I'm doing right now, for those of you who are curious, is um, I'm a graduating senior. Well, I will be in December, it's my last semester. So what I'm doing is I'm working on one of the backgrounds for my final senior film. This has been a long time coming. There are other snippets of information in other videos showing you guys about my senior film. I cannot wait to make the making of, you know, whatever the film ends up being called when it's all completely done and to show it to you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to do that immediately because I do plan on submitting the film to some film festivals and hopefully I'll be able to win something, but we'll see. <laughs> Some amateur film festivals, you know? Um, so what I'm doing here is just working on a background for the film. It's, um, it's, it's, okay, you'll see a little purple picture that's like already rendered pop up sometimes. It's popped up a bunch already. You'll see it sometimes. That is the other side of this same cafe building, so I'm referencing that to get like the general colors and make sure things are consistent. So that's that's what I'm doing in here for anyone who is curious. This is a background for my senior film. But when it comes to art on my YouTube channel, I'm not entirely sure where it's going to go. Uh, next semester it's looking like most of my classes are going to be online. My actual university is doing in person. They wanted their money. They said come on, join us down. But a lot of my professors are switching to online classes instead. So as of right now, I have two classes in person, two classes online. But I already know one of the two that I have in person. The professor is trying to switch it to online. So uh, I might be, you know, all online by the time the semester starts, August 17th. Who knows? So if things do end up being all online, you can expect videos of me and you, you know, working together. Because I assume a lot of you guys are going to have similar issues of us trying to figure out like how to be productive from home, how to not burn out, how to stay focused. I find having other students in the class really helps me like tune in, but uh, I won't have that option if it's all online. 
and um, we can hopefully help each other learn how to navigate that space and how to work effectively basically left up to our own devices you know completely by ourselves we never see our professors we never feel any sense of like being with other people in a class it's all individualized so hopefully we can navigate that space together and figure out a good and productive way to get our stuff done and also hopefully i can make some interesting vlogs i've always really liked doing my first week of school vlogs but uh you know if i only have two classes in person that might not be the most interesting thing in the world uh so we'll have to see what happens with the fall semester same way we've had to see what happens pretty much all year it's been a pretty crazy interesting time but i don't think i have to tell you guys that i'm pretty sure you're well aware so what i was talking about earlier with art being on my channel it, i just want to say like i i hope that i can bring stuff like this to you guys because i do create a lot of art um after this semester, I'm looking to start applying for jobs actually in October because I graduate in December. So I'm looking to start applying for jobs. Hopefully I will get one. And hopefully you guys and I, we can we can work together. And I can show you what I've done. You guys can get a feel for what the animation industry has to hold. And of course, as you've seen through my videos this month, I have, I do lots of other things other than drawing, but it's a pretty big part of my life, so even though this isn't an art channel, I hope that I can still bring art into this space. And I also really have always loved the idea of having an online shop and being able to sell prints, stickers, just, you know, some of my creations to you guys. So I hope that that is something that we can enjoy together and that my art isn't going to feel too intrusive on this channel. For those of you who don't know, I am uploading a video every day for 30 days in the month of August. So, man, that is the most concise I've ever said it. <laughs> All these days I've been filming this. That's probably the best I've done. Anyway, <laughs> so if this video isn't really your cup of tea, you can check out yesterday's video. Or you can hit subscribe and hit that bell so that you will be notified when I upload tomorrow's video. Pressing subscribe really, really helps me because I can help get my subscriber numbers up. The more people that subscribe, the more likely YouTube is to push my channel, the more likely other people are to see my channel. And maybe there is someone out there, an animation major, or a confused high school student, or just another black girl, or anyone who can relate to me in any kind of way, who could benefit from seeing my content. And it would just really help me to grow my channel, grow my online presence, so I appreciate it if you guys would subscribe leave a comment, leave a like, do those kinds of things to increase my engagement on this channel. And that's one of the things that I'm working on increasing through this August challenge, my engagement, but also just the quality of my videos and the substance of them. It's been nice to experiment with different things, such as this Procreate recording that doesn't zoom in at all and has long periods of time like this where it looks like I'm doing nothing. <laughs> Um, it's been nice to experiment with different things. I have faced my fair share, my fair, 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 fair share of technical difficulties through this process, but I've also found a lot of new and interesting ways to film videos and new and interesting ways to show you guys a good time. <laughs> so hopefully this has been fun for you all to join me on this 30 day challenge. And since I've been doing this and having fun with it, I've been kind of considering maybe doing either Inktober in October, but I'm, I'm, I'm cautious and weary about that because I do plan on making a new storyboard portfolio and applying for jobs in October. Um, I mean, obviously making the portfolio could be part of Inktober, but I don't know if I plan to spend a month on that. I don't know. Or um, Vlogmas, but Vlogmas is right around finals time. So I don't know if I will be able to do those things, just because I've been having fun with this random August everyday upload, I've just been thinking about doing more of it. So to those of you who have been here for a few of these August days, do let me know. Do you enjoy this daily content? Is it something that you would want to see more of at another time in the year? Do you want more art videos in, in October? Are you more of a vlog person for vlogmas? Or is this like an upload whatever I want kind of situation? Just let me know how you guys feel because I am curious, I'm always curious, to hear what you would think. Um, on top of that, I guess we can talk about the artist's biggest plunder and that is motivation. 
It's been hard finding motivation to work by myself at home, no one around, no one to hold me accountable. It's been hard to work in those conditions, but it's also been challenging to work feeling like my art might not be where I need it to be at this point. Um, I don't, I, I, I feel like I don't have as many people to compare myself to as I usually do. And it's also interesting because I'm in animation, which for a lot of people in my program at least, is something new that we're doing. So we have experience with drawing and painting, and we can draw you something really nice, paint you something really nice, yeah, yeah. But doing digital art is an adjustment for me, and doing uh, animation and work in general has been an adjustment. Now, obviously, this is something I've been doing for several years at this point, so it's, it's not like I'm trying to read German. It's just... It's, it's something that I'm learning. <laughs> it's something I'm learning, you know? Back when I was just um, a general art major, there wasn't much new to be learned. It was just honing your craft and practicing. Whereas here, you know, I'm learning new processes every time I pick up a tablet. And I'm just concerned that I'm behind my peers, um, potential co-workers, you know, other people in the field. I'm concerned that I'm behind and that I, I, I don't know how to catch up. Um, I'm going to be putting a lot of work into making a new portfolio um, throughout the school year, along with doing my senior film. So I've got a lot, a lot of art to do lately, which is why I hope you guys are okay with me bringing it to the channel. I've got a lot of art to do lately. So um, hopefully through uh, working on a new portfolio and, and really getting back into focusing on my own projects. It's been a while since I've done my own project outside of school. Being able to do that, hopefully, will help me to improve drastically, pretty much like it used to. It used to be very effective of just finding into tutorials, drawing, 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 practicing, 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 and getting better. And I don't see why that would be any different for animation. So hopefully you guys wouldn't mind following me along on that journey to get my art to be what I need it to be for hiring purposes. <laughs> <laughs> um, on top of that, I'm just hoping that jobs are even available um, with the way that this year has gone and the timing and everything. Even applying for jobs outside of my industry, like simple stuff, you know, Domino's, McDonald's, even that has been a struggle. I'm, I'm still jobless, so when it does come time for me to apply for industry jobs, I hope that there are actually openings for me, but I don't want to worry too much about the future and what Miss Rona might change or might bring. and. If I'm just going to move to Germany and do my master's degree. I don't know. I don't want to worry about that too much because there's really nothing I can do about it at this point. I'm just going to create the best art that I can, get as good as I can, hone my craft, and if someone is there to hire me once the craft is home, then that's fantastic. If they're not, then that's something to deal with. What are you guys struggling and dealing with in this time? Even as things are starting to quote unquote get back to normal, even as more stuff is opening, what 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 are what are we having challenges with? Please let me know in the comments down below so that we can have a little bit of a discourse and a chat about how just strange things have been, because it's certainly been a strange time. I'm getting towards the end of this process here. The main theme for this area of the story, like the thematic color, is purple. So this room is very, very purple heavy, and it's not. I hope it doesn't look boring and like, it's mostly monochrome, but I hope it still has some interest to it. That's why I added some of those greens and reds, like slight-ish tones. Um, and hopefully the purple is, isn't too much. Hopefully it isn't too much, basically. Um, I'm doing colors for different sections of the story. And this section, as you can clearly see, as I will say again, <laughs> is purple. Um, what do you guys think my film is going to be about? I don't know if I've told you guys that yet. Leave a comment down below. What are your speculations on my purple film? <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this segment with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And please do remember to subscribe, comment, and press that bell for next time. I'll see you live. That wasn't that fun. It's not my typical video, although I do mention art sometimes. It's not my typical video. But I hope you guys can appreciate a little sit down and chat with me, even if I'm drawing instead of like doing my makeup. Well, I do. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm uploading a video every single day for 30 days and that is still going on. So click subscribe to help me get to my 100 subscriber goal and press that bell button so that you will be notified of the next time I upload. Leave
leave a comment and let me know what is one thing I said that you agree with in this video. And please throw in a like for extra engagement because I could really use the help. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Please click some of my links to have some more fun with me. And until then, I'm going to post for thumbnails so you can just click on this. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, see you.